Hello everyone, you have Royce here and welcome to our channel since you're 101. So for this episode, we're going to feature another cultivar of Trifishata. And uh, this specific cultivar is still part of the uh, short leaf uh, type of Trifishata or a short leaf group. Or some might say they are the uh, dwarf Trifishatas. And uh, this specific cultivar is a direct descendant of the uh, Trifishata honey eye or um, the uh, green form of short leaf uh, Trifishata. So, uh, honey eye uh, is the uh, first cultivar that came out and it is just purely green form. It is a banded type of uh, Sansevieria. Uh, with the uh, dark banding uh, in alternate with uh, the lighter green uh, banding that people would call uh, silver uh, or uh, light green or pale green. Uh, th that is the uh, pattern of uh, this cultivar. Uh, that is because, like I mentioned, it came from it is a direct descendant of the honey eye trifoshada so this uh, trifoshada a uh, cultivar is named as uh, honey eye marginated and uh, frankly I do not know the reason why it is interchange as uh, when it comes to uh, naming species of animals uh, especially or describing an animal having a banded uh, type of a pattern uh, in terms of coat or in appearance uh, for say for example we're talking about lizards when we see that uh, the lizard has bands on it we call it banded lizard so uh, we classified classify it as a banded lizard but uh, in naming plants such as uh, the dwarf type of trifoshadas uh, I fail to understand why it is reversed as honey eye marginated. It's sort of wrong and uh, it's kind of uh, awkward in pronouncing it as honey eye marginated where it is easier to say it's a marginated han honey eye. So uh, those are one of the things that I'm pondering with regards to uh, the person who is uh, giving names to these trifoshadas. Uh, as to why it is re reversed uh, or uh, stated as uh, marginate, uh, honey eye marginated instead of marginated ha ha honey eye, which is easier to uh, understand. So anyway, going back to what we're discussing, I could give you uh, a brief origin of uh, this specific cultivar. So this is one of the first variegated type that uh, appeared among the short leaf because uh, like I mentioned honey eye Trifishan honey eye is the green form it is non marginated and it is the first of the short leaf now the first of the marginated or the variegated types that came out after the short leaf uh, non variegated form of Trifishan appeared is this specimen that I am presenting to you right now so basically there is no difference with uh, the honey eye when it term when in terms of variegate of uh, pa leaf pattern being banded type the only difference is that it became variegated and the variegations are yellow it's bright yellow and it they situate or they are appearing on the leaf on the side so they are appearing as margins so folks uh, just to clarify when we speak about mar margins on trifishadas there is an instance wherein the margins can become the leaf color itself which is green margins can be also dark green in color they may be light green they may be banded uh, light and green uh, it doesn't necessarily necessarily mean that um, when we call it marginated it's already yellow or white so when we call a plant marginated it could either be a leaf color or a variegation uh, to be called ma marginated so it doesn't 
really uh, just limits itself to being a variegated ones when you call it uh, marginate type of uh, cultivar or Sansevieria trifasciata. So uh, going back, like I mentioned, uh, the name, the official name of the uh, plant is Honey Eye Marginated. The uh, cultivar was first published as uh, cross bees uh, marginata. Uh, I'll be uh, placing it on the uh, information on the uh, left or right side of uh, this content. And uh, this particular cultivar of Trifasciata was patented by um, Sylvan Han himself. So. Sylvan has a nursery of his own and uh, he is growing Trifasciatas and in his dwarf Trifasciata honey eye uh, he discovered one uh, growing amongst the uh, growth of uh, honey eye Trifasciata so he found this mutation from a colony of uh, honey eye the green form without uh, the non variegated ones one of them mutated into having variegated marginations so uh, if you ask me to specifically ID this it's uh, incomplete to say uh, just honey eye uh, marginated because the marginations on them are variegations it would be uh, complete to call it uh, sensitive to fishada variegated marginations though that's if you ask me that I would say that that is the most most uh, precise concise or accurate ID for this um, cultivar of uh, Trifasciata however it is already published and named by the one who discovered it so uh, I am not uh, in li liberty to have any change I'm just pointing out that the naming process could have been more accurate they could have uh, stated uh, it as a uh, honey eye variegated marginations uh, as the ID instead if it is just named as honey eye marginated so it doesn't really specify the what the marginations are or what the margins that are located on the leaf are if the margins are green the base color or the margins are variegation so doesn't really specify with the ID itself it's uh, it might be because this is the first one of the mutations coming from honey eye that's why people back then don't have any idea that trifasciatas can mutate into a vast variety of colors and uh, variegations or mutate into uh, a multiple variety of uh, variegations namely they can be white they can be green they can be uh, yellow so yellow and white those are chimeric uh, genes that pluriflate the uh, leaf that's why they are uh, yellow or uh, white in color uh, they are not uh, producing chlorophyll for the plants uh, that's the difference between yellow white However, the green marginations are the leaf color itself. So there might be a reversed, reversed mutation wherein the uh, variegations would settle on the middle part or central part of the leaf. Then the margins are the ones becoming the base color of the uh, leaf itself. So uh, going back, we discussed that uh, Sylvan Han is the uh, discoverer and he's the one who patented it. And perhaps the published name was different and the first publish of it was uh, Crosby's Marginata. This uh, cultivar uh, is also known by other names. It's uh, known as Ocean Star, um, Laurenti Dwarf, Honey Eye Oreo Striata, Laurenti Sport, uh, Lawrence Gilt Edge. Uh, th these, uh, this uh, cultivar had many names uh, and uh, like i said it might be because this is the first one to have mutated amongst the vast mutations of short leaf trifasciata so uh being the oldest means that it could have been named by um 
people and generations that uh, came to be and that's why it had uh, many names in comparison to the other cultivars of the short leaf trefeshara so um, also you can fi find uh, information about uh, this cultivar uh, in Huan Chinese book the uh, Sansevieria trefeshara varieties 1986 that's uh, found on uh, or at page 66 and also, uh, there are further information about it on the International Sansevieria uh, Society Journals, uh, page 12 of uh, the 29th uh, article of uh, the journals. So, uh, those are uh, the uh, reference that I could give you with regards to this uh, specific cultivar uh, like I mentioned uh, if you want to see uh, the sensitive artificial honey eye I have already uploaded it and uh, like I mentioned the patterns of the leaf are the same the only difference is that uh, the this one is variegated and uh, sensitive artificial honey eye is non variegated so this one variegated it mutated to having chimeric genes to have a uh, having a uh, yellow margins and uh it is currently known as uh, honey eye marginated uh some would uh, uh it is more uh known with the name uh, laurenti dwarf because it also i'll point it out that the markings on it looks like the common Laurentii that is the uh, long leaf variety of Trifichetas. I, uh, I have also uploaded Sansevier Trifichetta Laurentii among the first of the full size uh, Trifichetas. However, right now we are on the uh, short leaf uh, group. So if I may say that this is the counterpart among the short leaf uh, group from the uh, full size which is Laurentii, this is its counterpart with regards to uh, or belonging in the group of uh, short leaf trifashadas. So, um, folks, I, I guess that's all I can discuss re with regards to the origin, with regards to um, how this plant came to be and who discovered it. I've given you all the details. What's next? Before we end, since we we're already discussing, I would like to take measurements so I could include uh, records of it and also keep track of the growth of my uh, specimen. So, uh, with regards to uh, the leaf size, the length of the leaf is very much the same as uh, growth on the honey eye which is uh, 4 to 5 inches, maybe 4 to 6 inches, like I'm measuring here. Longest one on what I have right now is 5 inches. And the leaf size, uh, that's also variable. It could be, a uh, mine is measuring 2.5 inch. Actually, I have another tool here, the usual tool that we use. Uh, set it to zero and we could get an average measure of the leaf size the ones on the topmost portion are actually slimmer I'm measuring 42.4 millimeters and the ones on uh, the bottom part are quite wider which is measuring 55.1 and uh, this one a little wider 58.1 so uh, folks uh, we have measured the length at uh, 4 to 5 inches and then the leaf size at uh, 2.5 of an inch or around uh, 44 millimeters to uh, 58 millimeters for the uh, leaf width so that is the measure of what I'm showing you right now which is the uh, honey eye marginated uh, more 
commonly known as Laurentide Dwarf or Ocean Star. Those are the names. I'll also include the names on the uh, information or description of this uh, content. So before we end, uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please uh, don't forget to uh, leave a comment below. And then, uh, if you like what I have presented, uh, I would very much appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the channel. By the way, this is uh, we are reaching to about 50 first uh, cultivars just coming from Trifashada. So, uh, so far in the channel, I have uh, already uploaded more than 100 uh, species, cultivars included. So please uh, like and subscribe your channel so it may grow and I would be able to uh, present more species or cultivars or even hybrids of Centivirus for you. So this is it for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.